The Defense Science and Technology Laboratory (DSTL) is an executive agency of the Ministry of Defense of the United Kingdom. Its stated purpose is to maximize the impact of science and technology for the defense and security of the UK. The agency is headed by Gary Aitkenhead as its chief executive, with the board being chaired by Sir David Pepper. Ministerial responsibility lies with the Minister for Defense Procurement. Topic: History. DSTL was formed from the July 2001 split of the Defense Evaluation and Research Agency DERA. DSTL was established to carry out and retain the science and technology work that is best done within government, while the majority of DERA's activities and that suitable for industry was transferred to Kinetic, a wholly owned government company before being floated on the stock exchange. DSTL absorbed the Home Offices Centre for Applied Science and Technology in April 2018, taking on CAST's role to apply science and technology to support the Home Offices operations and frontline delivery, provision of evidence to support policy, and provide certain regulatory functions. DSTL existed as a trading fund of the MOD from its formation in 2001 until 2016, when it became an executive agency of the MOD. Organization DSTL is an executive agency sponsored by the Ministry of Defense MOD. Most funding comes from the MOD, while a small portion comes from other government departments and commercial sources. According to 2016–17 figures, 91% of Destial's £587 million income came from the MOD. In 2015, DSTL completed a major reorganisation, merging 12 operating departments into five divisions on 1 April 2015. The motivation behind this change was to enable more coherent and productive delivery to customers and simplify access routes for suppliers. Topic leadership DSTL has had four permanent chief executives. Martin Earwicker, 2001-2006, was chief executive from its creation in 2001 until he left in 2006 for the Science Museum. Dr. Francis Saunders -11, took over as Acting Chief Executive in May 2006 and was appointed as Chief Executive in August 2007. On 29 June 2011, Saunders announced to staff that her post had been advertised and that she would not be applying. Jonathan Lyle 2012 formerly Director of the Program Office at DSTL, placed into an acting role and was appointed in March 2012. Gary Aitkenhead 2018, in September 2017, David Marsh, Capability and Delivery Director, was appointed Acting Chief Executive. On 30 November 2017, Gary Aitkenhead was appointed and took up the role in January 2018. Operations DSTL carries out a broad range of work from high-level analysis to support Ministry of Defense policy and procurement decisions, to technical research in defense areas such as biomedical science and electronics, alongside operational work such as forensic analysis of explosives and providing paid volunteer scientists to Iraq and Afghanistan to provide rapid scientific advice to British forces. It has done work for around 40 government departments and agencies including the Home Office and Department for Transport. It undertakes research with both industry and academia to achieve its role, following a review and consultation process initiated by MOD's Chief Scientific Advisor CSA, it become responsible for the formulation and commission of MOD's non-nuclear research program from 1 April 2010, under the responsibility of the DSTL Program Office. Within the program office were 16 domains with some established as science and technology centers, including armor and protection, cyber and influence, counter-terrorism, and CBR chemical, biological and radiological. 
These centers funded research via the Center for Defense Enterprise, also part of the program office. A subsequent MOD CSA led review in 2015 into MOD's science and technology capability recommended that the commissioning of science and technology should be independent of the delivery. Following this, the commissioning role was moved to Defense Science and Technology (DST) within MOD head office, with DSTL focusing on delivery. Within the Strategic Defense and Security Review 2015 was a proposal to create a government-backed service designed to help small and medium-sized businesses bring new ideas to market more quickly. In 2016, it was announced by Defense Secretary Michael Fallon that this Defense and Security Accelerator would have access to an £800 million innovation fund and build on the Center for Defense Enterprise model, operating within DSTL. In 2017, DSTL began a five year program of innovation in space science. <laughs> Locations Current sites include The functions of the two former cast sites, Sandridge and Langhurst, will be transferred to Destial's core sites of Porton Down and Portsdown West by 2020. Sections of 150 mm thick pre-atomic steel plate uncontaminated with radionuclides, recovered from HMS Vanguard, were used for the shielding of the whole body monitor at the Radiobiological Research Laboratory now DSTL at Alverstoke, Gosport, Hampshire. Spin-offs <laughs> 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 Topic: Plowshare Innovations. In April 2005, the technology transfer company Plowshare Innovations Limited was formed to manage and exploit intellectual property within DSTL. DSTL and Plowshare Innovations have successfully spun out several new companies, including Alaska Food Diagnostics and P2I Limited. Topic. See also The Technical Cooperation Program an international defence science and technology collaboration between Australia, Canada, New Zealand, the United Kingdom and the United States. DARPA, U.S. Defence Agency responsible for the development of new technology for the U.S. military. Defence Science and Technology Organisation, a branch of the Australian Department of Defence that researches and develops technologies for the Australian defence industry. Kinetic, the part of Defence Evaluation and Research Agency privatised in June 2001, with the remainder of DERA renamed DSTL. <laughs> Notes and references Topic. External links Official website Plowshare Innovations <laughs>